Gentlemen, let's tackle a question that comes up all the time. Can masturbation cause erectile dysfunction? I hear this concern more often than you might think. Men tell me, Doc, I used to bounce back quickly, but now it takes much longer. Is something wrong with me? Am I losing my edge? If you've ever worried that frequent solo activity is breaking your erections, you're not alone. But the truth may surprise you. It's not that simple. What most men mistake for erectile dysfunction is actually something very different, your body's natural recovery cycle. And once you understand that cycle, you can time your performance with precision, protect your confidence, and avoid a lot of unnecessary anxiety. So today, I'm going to introduce you to a simple formula that explains everything, the 20 20 20 90 rule. These numbers reveal how your recovery period, also known as the refractory period, changes with age. Stick with me, because once you see how this works, you'll realize that what feels like a problem is often just biology doing its job. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to work with your body instead of fighting against it. Quick pause before we go deeper. If you find these kinds of breakdowns helpful, hit the like button, drop a comment letting me know where you're watching from, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss these men's health updates. So let's clear the air. Masturbation by itself does not cause erectile dysfunction. What causes the confusion is timing. After orgasm and ejaculation, your erection naturally subsides. That's not a malfunction, that's your body rebalancing. Hormones shift, your nervous system resets, and you enter what we call the refractory period. During this window, no matter how much stimulation you get, your body simply isn't ready for another erection. And here's the kicker. This recovery period gets longer as you age. When you're 20, it might be 20 minutes. By 70, it might be several days. And if you're lucky enough to still be sexually active in your 90s, recovery can stretch to 20 days. Same numbers, very different meanings. 20 minutes at 20, up to 20 days at 90. That's the 20, 20, 20, 90 rule. This is why so many men in midlife think masturbation is breaking their erections. What they're really experiencing is biology, not dysfunction. Your recovery cycle is stretching with age and mistaking that for erectile dysfunction only adds stress to something completely natural. For those of you new to the channel, I'm Dr. Jocelyn Carter. I'm a urologist with five years of experience in men's health, and I've had thousands of conversations with men facing these exact worries. I know firsthand how confusing and discouraging it can feel when your body doesn't respond the way it used to. But here's the thing, knowledge is power. Once you understand how your system works, you can adapt with confidence instead of panicking or turning to quick fixes that may do more harm than good. And that's what I want for you today. Clarity, reassurance, and a practical plan you can start using right away. Let's break down the four biggest mistakes men make when it comes to masturbation, erections, and recovery, and how to avoid them. Mistake number one, confusing recovery time with erectile dysfunction. Many men think, I can't get hard again right away, something must be wrong. But remember, this is the refractory period. It's biology, not a defect. The danger here isn't physical, it's emotional. Mislabeling normal recovery as ED can chip away at your confidence, which ironically can cause real performance issues. Mistake number two, overusing your system. If you try to push your body before it's ready, you'll notice weaker erections and shorter endurance. That's not dysfunction, it's just fatigue. Think of it like working out. If you lift heavy weights without rest days, your muscles won't grow stronger, they'll burn out, your sexual system is no different. Mistake number three, ignoring lifestyle factors. Here's a tough truth. Your recovery period isn't set in stone. While you can't erase it, you can shorten it. Poor sleep, high stress, lack of exercise, and heavy drinking all stretch recovery time. On the flip side, healthy habits can help your body bounce back faster. Yet many men overlook this and reach for quick pharmaceutical fixes instead. Mistake number four, using medication the wrong way. Yes. Pills like Viagra or Cialis can override biology for a short window, but using them recreationally or as a crutch when you don't need them can backfire. It creates dependency and it tricks your brain into thinking you can't perform without them. That's not empowerment. That's giving away control. All right, so what should you do instead? Here's the action plan I give my patients. Respect your recovery window. Use the 20, 20, 20, 90 rule as a guide. If you're 40, expect that your system may need several hours, not minutes. 
If you're 60, it may be a day or more. Don't fight biology, work with it. Prioritize sleep. Deep restorative sleep is the single biggest factor in testosterone production, nerve reset, and muscle repair. Without it, your erections will struggle. Aim for seven to eight hours of quality sleep consistently. Move your body. Exercise improves circulation, strengthens pelvic floor muscles, and balances hormones. Even brisk walking, resistance training, or yoga can dramatically improve erectile quality and shorten recovery time. Fuel wisely. Nutrition matters. Foods rich in antioxidants, omega-3s, and amino acids like citrulline, found in watermelon, support nitric oxide production, the very chemical that relaxes blood vessels and allows strong erections. Manage stress. Stress floods your body with cortisol and adrenaline, which directly suppress testosterone and restrict blood flow. Techniques like breathing exercises, meditation, or even just regular downtime with hobbies can lower stress and restore balance. Support with targeted supplements. For men who want extra support, two of my go-tos are organic watermelon extract, rich in L-citrulline, to boost circulation naturally, an advanced male performance formula that combines herbs like tonkat ali, fenugreek, nettle root, and icarian. Together, these support testosterone, stamina, and prostate health. These aren't gimmicks. They're evidence-backed tools I've seen help countless men rebuild confidence and performance. Now let's take a step back. If you've been worrying that something's wrong with you because your erections don't reboot as quickly as they used to, please hear this. You are not broken. This is not the end of your sexual life. It's simply a shift in how your body operates with age. Just like you might need more warm-up time at the gym in your 50s than you did in your 20s, your sexual system needs more recovery now. That's normal. The real danger isn't biology. It's letting fear, shame, or frustration convince you that you're less of a man. That's not true. With knowledge, patience, and the right habits, you can continue enjoying intimacy, connection, and confidence for decades to come. So let's bring it all together. Masturbation does not cause erectile dysfunction. What you're experiencing is your body's recovery cycle, explained by the 2020-2090 rule. By respecting your recovery window, improving your lifestyle, and supporting your system with the right strategies, you can protect both your erections and your peace of mind. Remember, age is not the end of vitality. Small, consistent choices create freedom, confidence, and dignity not just in the bedroom, but in every area of life. If this video gave you clarity, please give it a like, drop a comment telling me where you're watching from, and don't forget to subscribe for more science-based men's health advice every week. You are not alone in this journey, and as long as you keep learning and adapting, you'll keep thriving. I'm Dr. Jocelyn Carter, and I'll see you in the next video.